Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new video in the third script. Uh, sorry about the two weeks of or three weeks of inactivity, but I've been quite busy recently. In today's lesson, we are going to continue with the third script and we are going to talk about the letter Noon. And for the letter Noon, we're going to use a similar shape as a uh, letter Ba, I believe that we uh, maybe discussed it before. And for this one, we're going to start half a point from this edge. Do the first move up to the left, which is the hilia. Then we're going to go down with this shape. We're going to curve a little bit to the left, and then back to the right. But it's a very slight curvature. Just like this. And down here, we're going to add two points of drop, which is basically the same move This is quite low. The same move as the letter Sin and Sheen. On the inside there will be five points of width and one point of drop which would be this curvature. And the end here will stop before the top part of the noon. Now just a quick note on the first move. Now he could also finish it you have to finish the helia with the triangle shape just like this that this works through it from again the first move over there you go to the left first then you go down and curvature you have to add two curves in this one one going to the right and finally the one the one would stop here um if this was to be connected uh, at the end of a word you would come from the left and you would stop here and then you will add your uh, basically scene or sad shape down to here and you would continue the final move just like those letters like there's no difference between the letter noon and the scene sheen and sad uh, it is just when you write it by itself you have to add this first uh, bat shape basically, and is the one that has three points of height. Uh, I'm not sure if we spoke about this shape in the bat, but you will find it quite often that a ya and a noon, for example, a ladin, you will have the lamb that would go down to a dal. And then you will find that the ya noon is something written this way. So I want you to focus on this shape and the noon. When a ya or a ba connects to a noon, usually we use this uh, shape which we talked about in the ba. Uh, we got also another shape for the noon, which is the end of it. Um, in Surah Al-Fatiha wa al at the end of the Surah al we've got the Lamb coming from up there, then a Ya, then a Noon so this is a shape that you should uh, let's say learn and practice you see how this was put out for three points for the Ya then it went down for the Noon finally over here, there's an option of cutting this short, just like this. This is not a Ra, this is a Nun. Ra will not have the curvature here. This has a curvature, Ra will be a straight line. The curvature in the letter Ra is really uh, sort of thin and shallow, meanwhile in the noon here it is more visible. Um, to write the noon in the middle you simply use the same bar shapes that we learned before. And let's explain something here. So for example if I want to write Nahnu which means us using this because it is connected to a hat then the hat is going to connect to a noon and here comes the noon so 
So usually with writing, you have to keep an eye on the, let's say, the balancing of those word letters and making sure that they look neat, because although you could add the scaling for them, and the scaling them will result into the correct shape of the letter, if there was a slight, you could also do a, a further step to just check how the letters uh, sort of magically sort of connect to each other. Because over here you can see that there's an imaginary line that holds this shape down here and there's another one that goes here. That gives an, a smooth transition of the uh, shapes so that when you look at it you feel comfortable uh, looking at it. And this also comes with regards to the dots. So for example the dot for the noon over here will be a slight continuity of this move. So you will have a nice sort of shape between this noon and this edge. And what I mean by this is that this is the noon at the end of the word, and this is the dots. So when you look at it, you'll see that the dot is kind of as if it was connected to this part. And again, it's not that it is connected or anything like that. No, it's just to have a smooth and comfortable uh, look of the words, basically. We're going to talk about it more in the future, but it's better to keep an eye on it while uh, doing the learning uh, at the beginning. Uh, there's also this part over here, which if you struggle with, so for example, if you were to write a bat or a noon, you might end up with this small nudge and you can get rid of it by just going back, then forward. Get a smoother start and I think it will be more visible with a bigger pen. So if If you were writing the letter noon, and you went down, you stop here with a nice angle, and you came from this side. So if you could see there's a kind of a discontinuity here, you could just go back for a bit to give it a nice shape and they come back. To give it this shape, rather than having it cut. Because when you put your pen, you might put it after, but you need both uh, shapes at the end here to connect, rather than having a separate, or a separation between them. So yeah, um, this is the letter noon. Not much about it. I thought it would be a short lesson uh, because next we will do a letter ha, inshallah. Noon, no, I think meme, meme, noon. No, no, we did the meme, meme, noon, ha while we are. So then we have the lamb alif and some uh, notes on how to write the Torah in general. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And again, uh, apologies for the delays on the classes, but again, just keep uh, practicing and uh, if I ever don't upload, just go back to the previous videos, watch them and keep practicing the previous class. So, uh, this is it for today. Have a lovely evening or night and catch you in the next video. Goodbye.